NASA has been trying to invent a tractor beam, and I think this might have use for, um, you know, cars. You'd have a tractor beam that would track to the surface of the road. You'd have a much wider area of traction. The usual area they have now is only like a foot of where the rubber meets the road. Not like uh, a restaurant where, you know, the surf meets the turf or where the debris meets the sea. <laughs> but if you have this tractor beam, you could actually use the extra heat that it would allow to actually melt the snow on the road. I think the tractor beam might involve Van der Waals forces, and by using a standing electron wave, you could have it where it finds the general area of the surface and then oscillates back and forth to resonate with those Van der Waals forces, then you latch onto that and increase the resonance. And um, so this might be useful for self-driving autos, they can make them much safer. They think they're not even going to have stoplights, perhaps, because they could just like swerve around each other and not even stop. And uh, I've been in, um, I've had, been in autos like this. And uh, so, you know, another use of the tractor beam would be like an orbit, instead of having a space tower, which would be expensive to build, and high, high rise is no longer, the, no, is with you the rent. And also, um, it would uh, have, also, the, you could take a tether and put it on a string, and wrap it around the, 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 the loop and bring it all the way up there, but it'd be really heavy compared to a much more energetic but resonant type of particle beam. And um, I think we can make uh, particle beams that are, um, you know, the, that high energy light behaves like a heavy particle. So not just by latching onto the Van der Waals force, you can also latch onto your, um, your nucleus itself, but the strong force, if you have the right energy of your um, beam, which might, as the atom spins around, you might have alternating protons and neutrons to, uh, to adhere with the strong force. So it sort of alternates the energy from a proton to a neutron at the right rate for your whatever you're, whatever you're adhering to. Another type of tractor beam might involve lightweight magnets. This would make it so you could land on a field, like an airship field, in the water and the wave, Army, Navy, Air Force, and you could actually then, um, you could uh, make it so that the, the, the crash of the takeoff and landing would be reduced, which is the main cause of problems with air, airplanes, the most type of you know, uh, you know, accidents they have. So um, when you have your, um, you know, your, your, your beam, you can use this for airships or airplanes or other aircraft. And I had thought of a method also of stabilizing aircraft by using like spinning gyroscopes. I was building this uh, bicycle and I said, my father, can I use a weed eater motor for this? You know, it might work. So it'd be all spin, you'd spin upward for 10,000 years. But actually, if you use these gyroscopes, you could, uh, Make it so it's stabilized, they're much lighter in weight when you don't spin them, so they don't take up much weight on your aircraft. You can use them to store energy during the time you're traveling also. And this led me to the idea of using molecular gyroscopes for this, which uh, Einstein didn't invent, but he got patents on 20 inventions, you know. And uh, he never got a driver's license, but I think now he could, you know, good faster speed of the light, the stoplight when he goes faster. And uh, so... If you have your, uh, you know, your beam, it's a tractor beam, and the gyroscopes, you could actually also use it to stabilize by using um, the uh, um, off-center of each spin of your molecular gyroscope. That would also store power, and it would be uh, a way to perhaps go, go rock, use it for, um, you know, takeoff and landing by going vertically by sending that off-center vertically for takeoff and sending it down gradually by, by landing. You also have balance on both sides so you have stability even in high winds or whatever. This might be valuable for rescue when there's like high winds when they're rescuing with the air, air, air uh, saving machine. 